ただエロイナがお姉さまの護衛を任せた部下が配置とちょっと勘違いしましたのそれで護衛体系に混乱が出た程度ですわ Are you done? Thanks What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wadam Medusa, and welcome back to some King Koi. If you've not seen the previous episode, watch it right now. We were fighting angry lesbians last episode. It was pretty fun, and then we got to spend a lot of time with Ella. And it was interrupted, unfortunately, by her. Her? Uh, but, anyways, let's get straight into this, shall we?、Uh, <clears throat> oh, man. Ah,、uh, so it's not like Ella herself messed up. Same as last time? Luca no miss wa eroina no miss des. She's so strict. Sasai na dentat miss des. Ima kono shun ka, watakshi ya one sama ni terroristo ga osotte kita ra dai mondai ni hatten shimas ga. De nakuba mondai wa arimasen. Ga, shisake no ojo watakshi ni juji sur ningen wo one sama ni mawashita. Kono kozu ga naritatsu no wa jijitsu. I totally forgot to do this like an episode or two ago because. It's me. So I'm gonna do it now that I've remembered <clears throat> with all this chitter chatter about guards and stuff. I wanted to thank two people right now who have been very, very active in the comments as of late. I really wanted to thank you guys for a quick sec. I have two people here that I wanted to thank real quick. First person that I wanted to thank was Norane Konya5801. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Please don't be so hard on me. I. I'm doing my best. The second person, Humanity Falls Tom Press. Dot, 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 dot. That's all I got there. I wanted to thank that person too. You know who you are. And lastly, I said two people, but it's three. Lol.、Uh, it was Ali P9195. Thank you so much. I believe those are new people. And if not, oops. But, anyways, I wanted to thank you guys specifically because you guys have been very supportive and I do appreciate it a lot. And if you're new here and I did not get you down, it's because. You haven't commented anything. So, yeah. But, anyways, I am still grateful that you're here, though. Welcome. I'm glad to have you here. And I'm very honored that I am part of your entertainment or part of your schedule for however long it is. Thank you. Anyways, let's get back into it. Huh? What did she mean? Aren't the knights close to you and the other members of the royal family? That was my guess based on what she was saying. The look on Mina chan's face momentarily suggested I said something uncalled for, and. A child like yourself? Don't you, aren't you the one that looks 12? I'm older than you, though. <laughs> What has maturity got to do with not understanding something? Jesus Christ. Well, actually, I guess it can. But in this case, you were so cute when you went, Oni chan, Oni chan, the other day, too. <laughs> Ancient history. The conversation went off the rails from there. Even though Mina chan didn't share everything with me, it seemed as though Ellie, the Imperial Knights, and the royal family weren't as close as Ellie and Sylvie themselves were. Okay, well. You know what? For a sec, I thought that was the case too. Well, it makes sense. They're all just the servants and stuff, the bodyguards. So the royal family visits sick patients at the hospital and stuff too? Super impressive. Ah, yeah. Energy is one thing that children have, even when they are sick. Nay, Oro. What does she want? Just like a piano has a meter. Oh, heck no. There's no way. There's absolutely no way you did that because, like, you wanted to. She was probably forced. They're probably like, if you don't practice piano, you're not going to eat tonight. And then she was like, <laughs> that's my guess. Because, no, how, how are you out doing professionals in a year? Or even if it was five years, I don't care. You're 
Like how? And how uncommon is that? Okay, it's fantasy, I know, but still. It's just not very realistic. Like the confidence you got there. Are you bragging? I was sure it was true. Bruh. Did yesterday not go well? うまくいったのよ。妹して主催者の言うよう。ピアノ演奏をプレゼントして演奏自体は完璧だったの。でもあの子たち他の人差し指だけでピンポンやるので。Your Sounds painful. Well, hey, that's not such a bad thing. Then. Morning, but I mean, Ella. Morning? Oh? That was when I noticed Ella had shown up to school much later than Sylvie. Even though they often went home separately, they always came to school together every morning. What could have happened? She stifled her yawn. Stiff, stifled? I don't know. This too was unusual. She was usually so on point. <laughs> oh, yesterday. Did you have a hard time resolving that miscommunication issue? <laughs> Sounds fine. Her response suggested she didn't get enough sleep last night. So, how did everything go afterward? Was assigning the guards or whatever it was? I'd only gotten a half hearted explanation from Mina chan. Ellison didn't sound like she wanted to elaborate much either, but I could lean on our happy go lucky princess at times like these. みんなの敬語をしている Coupled with what Mina Chun told me yesterday, there didn't appear to be any issues. Just a sort of discord between the aforementioned knights and the royal family, and so forth. All of which I'd love to ask more about, but. <gasps> Why is she moaning? Ella looked tired, but was putting in an effort not to let it show. That sounded really, really, really off. Hold up, let's hear it out again. That sounded really sus. Hold on. Look. Listen. Did she just bust a nut? Oh my god. I looked hard, but was putting in an effort not to let it show, blah blah blah. I would feel sorry for her, especially if I pried any further, so I decided against it. Mm. Even if they came and went to school separately, Ellie was glued to Sylvie until club started that afternoon. They were obviously together during lunch break too. And so... Eating lunch while listening to the piano? That does sound nice. <laughs> it was the three of us today. <laughs> so we practically inhaled her food. <laughs> and entertained herself with the piano all she liked. I ate my meal while listening to the comforting timbre. Timbre? Ella shrugged and dug into her lunch. Oh, Ella, did you use yesterday's bacon? Bacon? Tocino for that sandwich? <laughs> bacon? <laughs> Yay! Should I share some of mine to pay you back? I made homemade sandwiches too, oddly enough. Oh, 
An ally of the fat and unhealthy. I call it the junk sandwich. We shared our meals with each other. We had been having dinner together for a week already. Felt familiar even if we were eating lunch instead. <laughs> this is on purpose. I enjoyed eating lunch with Ella as well as Sylvie's impromptu recital. <laughs> Sylvie must have been frustrated after yesterday. She played for almost 20 minutes straight. It was like she'd released all of the musical tension that had been built up inside of her. The fact she had memorized all of that sheet music and could effortlessly, <laughs> effortlessly play it on a whim was impressive in its own right. Even after we finished our meals, we had no desire to move and remained planted in our seats. And then, yep. Oh, the tune suddenly changed. What was the song? Compared to the other pieces she played, this one had a much quieter yet comforting tone. I like this too. Almost like a lullaby? No, silly ghost, it's Sylvia's theme. She just fell asleep. That's crazy. Ah. You shut up. Aren't you the one playing piano? Not none. And hey, what without saying? <laughs> nice. I just slumped over and leaned against my shoulder. <laughs> She's just totally doing this on purpose. This had to be premeditated. So we smiled as her fingers drifted across the piano's ivory keys. I gotta stop doing that. I swear. In every episode, I'm like... <laughs> it's annoying. It's loud for no reason, too. Really? Now that the performer had spoken up, it seemed a temporary no talking ban had been lifted and we spoke in hushed whispers. Huh. True enough, she was only night around Sylvia at the moment. Would be a pretty huge issue to nod off from something so minor. She really was cute. <laughs> Wasn't that because of how good you were at playing the piano? I'm act like I know what that is. That's just how it goes when you're a kid. I believe Sylvie said she started playing when she was 10 years old, which meant Ellison was 11. Still young enough to have no composure when you would listen to recitals. <笑><笑><笑> Hmm. Now that she mentioned it, when I looked at my side, Ella's ordinarily awe-inspiring expression was childishly vulnerable. Ella's sleeping face. It might be witnessing a rare sight. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The Bettys are mine. <laughs> That's him right now. Hmm? Her voice was quieter than the piano, so I couldn't hear her. What was it? I tried to listen, but... Oh. Well, that's not good. Huh? Sylvia, what the freak, dude? It's your problem. Sylvie? Wow, she's, she's terrible for that. The comfortable melody <laughs> suddenly turned to emp 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 emphatic and disturbed other sons slumber. You're not going to let her sleep at least through lunch break then? Alright, she sucks. I don't know what she was upset about, but Sylvie made no attempt to stop. Someone, like, take her down, please. Ella woke up. <laughs> she said it was sad. So. What? Uh, 
しまったついウトウト一瞬だけウトウトしてたわねちゃんと聞いてなさいエルはす,すいません<笑> So we went back to plan again She had been too focused on the piano to have heard it, but so it appeared the princess had an even more, even more, more childish nickname. I wondered how long they had known each other. It sounded like they were already together by age 10, but something told me they knew each other long before then. Incidentally, the orchestral faction, was it? The s o r t o l i d g e royal family was supposed to refine the musically related knowledge from a young age, but would an age 10 be just a little late? I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you. Pavarero Sama, Nandaka, you are choosing a worry me to. Oh, has a cassi. Nanika, I must. You had each match of a game. That's crazy. These lesbians, man. I'm right here, you know. Tada no never suck this. Okini Nasarez. So this. ま、さか。そういうこと。ついに一戦を。あ、あのウェイタンバ。いや。どどうしたのです一体。It <laughs> May do best to head home early and rest? That's crazy. You should take the day off. Listen. I want you to eat it. Ah. Dar. No, uh, really? Feel free to help yourself. We walked along the usual path as she made that immensely impactful comment. By the way, what's on tonight's menu? Yoi no jikanga nakata no de pasta ni shio to moimas. Bakon! No no bacon mo, mada aru no de. Bakon! Yeah, for sure. When you hear bakon, you really do think pasta. Nihon de wa carbonara de stake. Hawaii to sauce to avaseru no ga ninki na no de staka? I'm not really picky, so anything works. Whatever is easier for you to make. Hi. Conversations like this had become a perfect natural. Perfectly natural, but also felt a little like one newlyweds might have. Well, we were quote unquote lovers, so I guess it was fine. And the course of the conversation led us to. Oh, yeah, about when you fell asleep this afternoon. Uh, uh, Dog. She looked embarrassed. The way Ella was more concerned about leaving herself open than the newlywed variety of conversation was so like her. You called Sylvie Silk, didn't you?、Huh? When you were half asleep. So- Oh, oh, geez. That's a really low self esteem. You know this therapy, right? I think it's fine. Honestly, is it an issue because of your work relationship? That was an unusually low spirits. But the way I saw it, so we didn't seem to mind it, so what's the harm? There's no real difference whether you refer to her as so or so. It didn't change the fact that it was still a nickname. Or so I thought. Hmm? How so? Shirubi-sama-to-yobu-no-wa-ojo-taro-shirubi-sama-ga-kiyo-yuru-shite-kudasat-ta-koto-no-shou-san.Shikashi.Hmm?Shiru-wa-sore-izen-no-yobi-k
Bacon. Doesn't have a name? Japanese people just have too many fantasies about pasta. In Japan, you could throw any random seasonings and vegetables together in the down bow and call it a dish. But Japanese people would still want some kind of a name for a pasta dish like this. Mediterranean style spaghetti with smoked bacon, charred cabbage, and white pepper. Try introducing it like that. In a kind of hoity toity way, this is spaghetti with smoked bacon and charred cabbage garnished with Mediterranean style white pepper, like that. Bacon and cabbage are what? It's bacon and cabbage spaghetti. white pepper. Oh, I bet you could score two five. What the? Oh, I bet you could score 2,500 yen with this alone. That's a lot of money. Time to dig in. Slip <laughs> These Japanese give him a pass. Minachan scolds me for that all the time, too. But Minachan wasn't here today. Japanese people seriously do slurp loudly, though. That's just what feels right with noodles. So, She's jealous again? For what? So we still can't slurp ramen? I wouldn't hear them make the noise. That's funny. Well, that's kind of in our DNA. You did hear all the time how foreigners couldn't slurp their noodles. Besides, slurping is only a part of commoners' culture. I've heard nobles can't do it either, even in Japan. Noodle slurping originated with soba. It was an impression the citizens of Edo got from growing up, treating it as fast food in Kanto Soba culture, especially. Soba had been called the greatest fast food in Japan, especially in the Edo period, because apparently the sort of food where you could eat a helping in half a minute. That was the process by which the act of slurping came about so that it could be eaten more quickly. It was established as part of our culture at this point, but if you trace back to its origins, it was the improper sort of etiquette and seeming unseemly middle-aged men might practice at construction sites and the like. <laughs> Another fun theory is that the habit left to ramen due to the influence of manga in the 70s and 80s. Slurping was an intrinsic, intrinsic, soba eating pattern of a ramen lover by the name of Koike-san, created by the two geniuses F and A. And so the eating style naturally stuck to ramen. That was also why the custom of slurping wasn't associated with udon, but there are numerous theories. Of course, this was pointless trivia. Uh, for real? Hmm, true. Soba does fit into the pretty fine category. It was neither high class nor working class sort of dish. Unless you thought to yourself something like, I could sure go for some soba. It wasn't the sort of thing you'd run into it. Run into unanticipated. Foreigners didn't seem all too familiar with it. Wanna get soba with me sometime then? Together, obviously. <laughs> it almost sounded like it were second nature. It's a date. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hey, chill out. <laughs> don't force it so much. <laughs> Actually, you shouldn't slurp pasta. You eat it quietly like this. <laughs> that's crazy. These meals. <laughs> nah, that slurp was. <laughs> That slip was a little too real. I don't know what that was. I wonder how those voice actresses did that. These meals together had become so familiar to us. Yep. <clears throat> and it was another delicious meal at that. Now then, with that. um, Oh, what are you going to do for your shower today? What? What does that even mean? What are you going to do for your shower today? What the heck kind of question is that? Have you guys... Do you guys see this hair looking thing on the screen? I was tripping balls because I thought like I had a hair on my screen and I was even going like... Like what the freak? 
But it turns out it's just her hair. It's part of her freaking character. That's so weird. Why? I don't like that. They need to get rid of that. Anyways. The thought had just occurred to me. Ella had prepared a simple pasta dish so it didn't take long for us to eat. She would typically shower at my place to kill time while we waited for dinner to cook. She hadn't had time today so she hadn't bathed yet. Heck, all that was left was for her to head home as there was no reason reason for her to use my shower but... Sure. Ella headed to the bathroom like it was part of her usual routine. It was. No more I thought about it, the more bizarre it seemed. But I didn't feel that way to us anymore. Now, if it were any other route, I'd be like, what the heck? But at this point, it's like, it's her route. Just get over it. They're going to do a bunch of stuff that they normally wouldn't have done together. And we're going to see a bunch of stuff that we normally wouldn't see from her. Which was why, once she got out, I got the hairdryer ready without a second thought. Sure. Ella walked towards me as if this scenario were only natural. Her hair really looks really nice like this. Like really nice. I really mess with it. But it also looks cool up. She took a seat on the bed. I turned on the dryer and proceeded to dry her hair. We'd grown accustomed to this. However, no matter how familiar it may have felt, her sugary sweet aroma always made my heart race uncontrollably. What was our relationship at this point? We were pretending to be lovers, right? It's not like we were actually dating. Even though we were close, even though she let me touch her glistening hair, that didn't mean I was special to her. All I must say is I don't think any girl would just let you touch her hair. That has to be like very important. Ah. All of a sudden, Ella bumped into me. How? I quickly pulled the dryer away from her. Ella's warm, defenseless back pressed. What? Defenseless back pressed back against me. Okay. Oops. Threw me off. So many bags. Ella. No freaking way. Again. <laughs> Once again, she'd fallen asleep and leaned against me. <laughs> Ella had eaten a lot during both instances, so it made sense why she'd fall asleep. Um, Ella? Literally just give her your bed and just hit the couch or something, dude. Nah, but floors be mad comfy too sometimes. They really help out the back. I don't know how. It didn't look like she was going to be waking up anytime soon. Oh boy. I turned off the hairdryer. It would be... She fell asleep while that thing was on? That's crazy. It would be a shame to wake her, so maybe I should just leave her be. I certainly didn't mind having Ellie cuddled up against me, but... Slide. Slowly pulled her away. Now that we were separated, I gently eased her in the bed. We probably could have cuddled for a bit longer, but... No, no, knock it off me. I may have not been a noble... I may not have been a noble, but I was a gentleman. For instance, a very vulnerable looking Ella was laid out before me, dead asleep. And if my hand just so happened to reach out and give one of her boobs a quick rub, then she'd probably never notice. Oh no. Yeah, don't do that. Not happening. <laughs> I draped the comforter over her. Great, good idea. Oh, I guess you could do that too, leave the room also. Then I left the room with my cell phone in one hand. Phew. Let Sylvie know that Ella had fallen asleep. Alrighty, and where did you sleep? These transitions have no right being this loud. It doesn't matter what volume you have, it's always loud. She say ghetto? Ghetto? G-E-R-O? Ghetto? Is that how you say plebe plebe plebeian? I don't even know how to pronounce that, dude. She could've just said slave or, or uh, indentured servant or minority or commoner like plebeian but like what a plebeian squeeze <laughs> why are your boobs so big pleble plebeian <laughs> uh oh <laughs> 
気持ちですよ気持ちバーニングな気持ちで眠気なんて吹っ飛ばせです I'm already fed up with her burning spirit and the other roots I can't imagine in her root. That was gonna be crazy. She's always awfully energetic, dude. Yeah, literally. Third year girl, eh? Interesting. Uh, そんなことないですよ。先輩たちのことは応援してますから。だから。だ。そうは蹴っちゃった。な、どうよしてる、どうよしてる。もう、そんなんじゃなくて。もう、もう。先輩？何してるんです？こんなところで寝てたのかい？
I desperately pushed those crazy animalistic urges aside last night, but people still don't understand. I guess even though nobles who attend Noble Academy are still human. Rio was her usual cool so. I really like that about her, especially right now. Huh? Literally, dude, literally. Well, not really. That would have been sleep right next to me. Let me try that again. That was a little rough. Well, not really. Ella would have been asleep right next to me. Just trying to imagine someone like that with a body like that sleeping next to you and being completely defenseless. All right, bro. Relax. I think he's confessing. Hold up. <laughs> there was no telling when the wolf inside of me would shed its gentlemanly clothing and gobble her up. <laughs> he's confessing. Yep. That's, that's, isn't that concerning? More or less. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, conk out? What does that even mean? Yeah, that did happen. Are you complaining that I gave up my bed and didn't lay a hand on you or something? No, but I know a guy who does. His name is Denji. Have you all seen Chainsaw Man? It's such a fun watch. It might be a little overrated, I will say that. But it is pretty good overall. She sort. Her cool demeanor was cute on occasion. It wasn't really a sex appeal thing with you though. You generally scared me. <laughs> You're smoking delinquent. If I made a move on you, who's to say what I'd get burned with a lighter stabbed with some hidden knife? He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so goofy. You're not the kind of guy who throws caution in the wind to make a booty call. Simply put, sure. So shinji de oko. Kyuju kyu percent to chichi ga liyu da to shite mo. I percent kurai wa so yu liyu ga atta kamo shire nai. Demo sa. Yeah? So no liyu da to. Yoppo do ano onna no hou ga kyofu wa tsuyo ni jane ka? You know what? She's not wrong. I suppose. Imagine her boobs are like not even boobs. They're just like dumbbells and she just swings it around and die. Right in the jaw, you're dead. Ugh. True, but what was it? I had a feeling we'd cross the line, one we could never come back from if I had to put some space between us. My guess was, if I made a move on her, we'd have followed all the way through. Heather wouldn't have resisted. Oh, I like the confidence. How do you know for sure? Oi? What if she does? <笑>ですから感動しましたわ。カバレロ様の低層観念と場に流されぬ節度に。もうなぜあんな男のもとに泊まることになったかは、ちょいちょい気がかりではありますが、俺はそれよりいくら交際中とはいえ、俺はすが
Okay, that's definitely happening then. If she didn't want it to happen, she wouldn't be so uh, thrown off by that comment. Hi! <laughs> I don't think that was the I don't think that was your goal there, buddy. え、何あんた。もしかしてもう。いや、去年のクリスマスさ。幼馴染と盛り上がっちゃって勢いで。ああ。えっと、そうだ。私はイスタケを継ぐものとしてそうしたことにはそのいろいろとそのでももっと自由にでしょうか。まあ、一松君は死体と思ってるでしょうね。全く男は下劣だわ。Maybe a I figured our plans would have fallen through after what happened this morning, but it looked like we were still on for dinner tonight. Thank goodness! It had spoiled me on our home-cooked meals, and it would have been depressing to suddenly go without it. But... So, what are we having today? Uh huh? Sure. She quickly led me over. ルコラの甘いものやレバーパテ、バターやミンチなど、クリームのセットを食べてください。あ、コーヒーはいかがです。夜なので眠れなくなりますか。ミルクも買ってきましたが。はあ、シュー。私は食べ why are you staring at me? Although the butter and liver paint, a top freshly made bread tasted incredible. I couldn't really focus on my meal when I felt her eyes planning on me. Why don't you eat something? Aren't you eating a little fast? She was working through her meal in an extremely mechanical fashion and had practically inhaled the food she'd stuffed in her mouth. You know how strangely she was acting? Lele, do you want to go home early today by some chance? <laughs> because you're rushing. <laughs> there may have been more of it than that, but I believe that to be the primary reason. She really, really wanted to hurry home. Does, have, does this have anything to do with Guardian Zoe, since you've been off duty for the past couple of days? <laughs> あの、いえ、その、急いでいるわけではありません。ゆっくり夕げを楽しみましょう。Ah, <laughs> she calmed down. She had no idea why, but she relaxed and began eat. She just flipped off on a switch and just chilled out right away. I wish I could do that. I had no clue what her deal was today. Oh well, time for a nice, calm dinner. Off, off. Lukkona. Yeah, a little bit. The arugula was sautéed specifically to put on bread, but there was too much of it considering it was only there to add aroma. It tasted fine when you ate it like a sandwich, so I wasn't especially bothered by it. Take up. Excuse me. それにパンだけというのも大満でした。スープの一つでも作るべきです。<laughs> You made plenty, though. Oh, now that I think about it, your cream stew was incredible. I definitely wouldn't have minded some of that. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of soup. Although it didn't hold a candle to the soup I made, stopped eating and rummaged through a box nearby. I was pretty sure that back when I first moved into the dorm, while well, I stocked up on cup noodle due to the lack of other food options. Here it is, instant stew. 
Also, I had enough whites to do the split between two people. I'll make it now. Hang on a sec. I went off to heat up some water. あたしは何を慌てていたのでしょう。オーロがあんな、あんなこと求めてくるわけがない。今は恋人のふりをしているだけ。彼は私のために合わせてくれているだけなのです。ああ、ああ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、
it is very very humbling to think about you know anyways i'm out of here y'all stay safe and as always i'll see you guys in the next video until next time guys